Hi everyone! Welcome to today's video. My name is Donnie. And today I am going to show you how to deal with leading zeros in Excel. So leading zeros pertain to the zeros that you have to put before a number in order to complete a set um, number of digits for a certain number. So usually you will find this needed when you are dealing with check numbers, serial codes, or mobile phone numbers or phone numbers wherein the zero is significant. Now the thing is, in Excel, when the data type of the cell is a number, zeros are considered as insignificant if they are positioned at the beginning of a number. It's like you do not need to put a zero at the beginning of the number since it doesn't really contribute anything. So Excel automatically removes the zeros at the beginning when your data type is a number. And that's actually the key there, when the data type is a number. So most solutions that we have here are actually to convert the numbers that we have here into a non-numerical data type so that Excel will not force those cells to comply with the rule that zeros at the beginning is insignificant. So in order to do that, we have several suggestions for you on how to deal with the leading zeros in Excel. So the first one is to use an apostrophe to convert the value into a text. Apostrophes in Excel are quite special because they have this capability to cancel out the value from being identified as a number. So once I put an apostrophe at the beginning of a number, that number becomes text data type. You will notice that when the value is in a text data type, it goes to the left part of the cell. Same with how words Okay, will go or will position themselves in the worksheet or in the cell. Unlike numbers that position themselves on the right side. So once you put an apostrophe at the beginning, that data type becomes text. It goes to the left. And one special capability of apostrophe is that it doesn't show up in the cell. So the apostrophe sort of disappears. Although it's really still there, it's just it doesn't show up in the cell anymore. This is actually one of the most common techniques because once you have placed the apostrophe at the beginning, it then converts into text. Therefore, you can now put zeros at the beginning and Excel will not remove them because those values are now considered as text data type. However, Although this is the most common procedure that I have seen so far, it's also quite the most tedious because you have to update each value one by one. And at the same time, you will also attack the same cells. So meaning you don't get a new column, which may be good for some people or not for the others. You also get this green triangle warnings that tells the user that this numbers are being stored as texts wherein you can simply ignore it for them to disappear or you could also convert a number but then again it will revert back to being a number losing the zero and therefore defeats the purpose of putting an apostrophe zero at the beginning so that was the first solution put an apostrophe and then put in your zeros very simple, very straightforward, but probably the most tedious of them all. Now, the second suggestion that we have is to use a formula to create a column with zeros added. So, this will be a job for concatenation. So, we will concatenate, or in some later versions of Excel, you could also use concat but I will use concatenate for this demo because concatenate is more compatible with other programs. So I will concatenate two zeros because I need seven digits here. 
and then comma and then i will bring in the value from cell a2 so i have to put the zeros inside quotation marks because otherwise excel will cancel out two zeros in the formula so concatenate two zeros followed by the check number that i have here close and you will see that this resolves the problem that we have wherein it's just done with one formula you then double click the rest okay and problem solved so it's very easy however the consequences of this is that again it gets converted into a text data type which is okay maybe in many cases and at the same time it also creates another column of data which is also maybe okay for some but not for some people so if this is okay with you then that's great now sometimes i get the question we're in what if the number of digits are not the same so let's say i have here uh, a four digit number and if i use this formula then i'll be missing out okay the zero so that's another problem which means that it will require you a more complicated formula okay where it to be solved now another solution that i would suggest okay is to format the cell in order to allow the two digits that i need here or the zeros i mean at the beginning of the value so the third solution that I have is to use custom formatting. So for that, I will have to highlight the numbers that I need to format. And then I would right click, format cells. And this will lead me to something maybe most of you are already familiar with, the format cells button. We're in, we have to go to custom. And then under custom, we will have to look for the word general or the type general. And then once you click that, you will then see that the field that says type will also have the word general, which you can then remove using the backspace or the delete key. And then in that field, you will have to type, in my case, I need seven zeros because I need to force column A to display seven digits with zero at the beginning. You could see that the sample is showing me what will happen on the first cell. And you will see that in the sample, the two zeros are now visible at the beginning of the number. In essence, what I am doing here is that I am um telling excel that i need seven digits for this and that if the digits that i have is insufficient then the placeholder should be a zero all right so from there i will click ok and now you will see that i have the zeros at the beginning and even the one that I modified with only four digits has no problem now. It will also display a zero, a third zero as needed. At the same time, you will notice that it's still on the same cells. I did not need to add another column. And finally, they are still in the number data type. As you could see, it's still on the right side of the cell. So therefore, you can still sort of like add them or whatever you need to do with those numbers. And that's it. Those are the three ways that you deal with leading zeros. If you're going to ask me, probably the best way is the third one because it doesn't produce any other column. It's quite easy to do. It's still a number. And when you print it, it's still there. So there are a lot of benefits for that one. So that's it for this video. I hope you learned something. And uh, if you learned something here and you liked it, I hope you hit the like and subscribe button. If you have any questions, feel free to use the comment section. And I will see you in the next video.